Going the distance with local sports. Covering the Loretto Mustangs. Summertown Eagles. And Lawrence County Wildcats. Basketball. Football. Baseball. And more. This is the X Sports Network. All right, welcome in to Summertown, Tennessee, where it's the Pegasus Cup. Summertown hosting Loretta. We're getting ready for kickoff. Summertown won the coin toss. They've elected to receive. This is Clint Brazier. We've got the band back together. I think, what, region championship, Cam? I'm here with Cam Mashburn. Cam, yeah. how we doing, buddy? Doing good. It's been a minute. I think uh, region championship in basketball, we can talk a little bit and get caught up because uh, we do have a flag on the kickoff. Uh, that's pretty rare, the opening kickoff flag. But uh, we're going to re-kick it. I don't know. But, again, this is Clint Brazier joining you. This is Cam Mashburn. Also, got Captain Weather, Ben Luna, our engineer tonight, along with First Lady Sarah Luna. So, it's all sides on Loretta, so it's going to back them up uh, five yards. Got uh, Ty Bryant and Lane Green both back to receive, to return for uh, Summertown. We'll Loretta in. coming in right now at two and four. Summertown coming in at three and two. We'll go over kind of both teams here in a little bit when we get a little break, get a little time out. Kind of late getting to the party here, but we're going to kick this thing off again. Pegasus. If you're just now joining us, welcome to the Pegasus Cup. Kickoff's up. And Green's going to get under it. He's got it. He's heading toward us on the right sideline. Cuts across at the 30, now across the 40. Heading toward midfield. He's going to go out of bounds at about the 45. So Summertown will take over this Pegasus Cup in good field position. Ran into his own guy. If he hadn't have done that, he, he, had, he had it turned back up field. And I was on the field right before kickoff. I went down. Just for a second, this field is slick. The moisture has came up out of the ground, which this is not a Bermuda grass. Yeah. so Very humid, very slippery. Yeah, it's going to get back to the top pretty quick on this fescue. I think it's fescue. It's Kentucky 31. Summertown's going to all start with the quarterback, Schaefer. He's in the shotgun with the senior, the running back, Edmondson, to his right. Running the option. Kicks out to Edmondson. Edmondson's trying to cut it upfield, and he does. Gets across midfield for about a gain of five. Simone's with the tackle for the Mustangs. Cam, we've got a little break in the action. You know, looking down this Loretta roster, and Loretta's had a couple of heartbreakers, but I don't think their record's any indication of how physical and how talented this football team can play. No, I mean, last week was a big momentum game for the Mustangs, you know, nearly knocking off Lewis Perennial County Power at Lewis County. At Lewis County. Uh, that was... That was a game you went for two, and it, you were inches, literally inches away from right. winning that football game there That's right. with eight seconds remaining. Schaefer in the shotgun. It's going to draw a little red off side. I think that's going to be the call. Yep, that should pick up a first down. Now that will make it about second and one. But, yeah, I was kind of keeping up with you with uh, that game, Cam, and – I don't know why you don't go for it. You're at yeah, Lewis that, County's house. You got a chance to win it. Yeah. I, everybody I talked to throughout the week, that nobody had any qualms about going mm -hmm. for two. That That's 100% the right call. So second down one. Going to hand off up the middle. Kind of rough on the handoff, and Edmondson's going to drop. He's not going to get it. Let's see how much forward progress they get him, but I believe he's going to lose one or two. Yeah, that was a good job by the Mustangs getting in there on that tackle. It's a, it, there's a number there we don't have that – not sh for the Mustangs or yeah, for Summertown? For, for the Mustangs on the tackle there that met him at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, you so have to you have to do your that. homework on that one. All right. So they give him a little bit of forward progress, but it's still third and one. Schaefer out of the shotgun. Hands off to Lane Green. Lane Green's going to get the first down and then some more. Picks up about eight, and he'll go down about to 35 of Loretta. We saw this a lot last week with the Mustangs, that the, the bend don't break mentality. But, you know, Lewis County was very undisciplined. That's one of the most undisciplined games I've seen Lewis County play, and it really benefited the Mustangs. Right. So that, that was kind of what worked in Loretta's benefit last week. If Summertown can hold it together, they may have a different outcome. 
All right, Schaefer's back in the shotgun. He's got Edmondson to his left. going to run the option toward us. He's going to keep it this time, cut it back up the middle. Runs into one defender, then knocks over another, and he crosses the 30 for a gain of about five or six on first down. Jack Welch with the tackle that time for Loretto. Tell you what, Jack Welch come up with a big hit to hold to hold Colton Schaefer because Schaefer's very Tim Tebow ish. I've been calling him. It's it's He's a, a it's kid. it takes a task to bring that kid down. Yeah, it definitely does. Today's his birthday, by the way. I Is saw it? that. Yeah. So Schaefer, the senior, he's waiting on instruction. He did get seven out of that first down option carry. That'll make it second down and three. We're under nine minutes to go here already in this first quarter. Ty Bryant goes in motion. They're going to hand it right up the gut to Edmondson. He's trying to get some extra yardage. We'll see what kind of spot they give him. He's going to be close to a first I think down. He's got it. And it is a first down for Summertown. Again, if you're just now joining us, welcome to Summertown to the Pegasus Cup. Summertown and Loretta. Welcome to Fair Week. Can't you been to the fair yet? I have. I've been there every time. I night guess you've probably tonight. been working, haven't you? Well, I've been helping out a little bit, yeah. Didn't leave there till early this morning. <laughs> We do have a good fair, but I'm lucky my kids are old enough. They just want the money, so I haven't had to attend for a few years. Schaefer on a pass out, and it's complete. Take him down from this left hash by Jack Welch on the receive. That was good. a dart right there thrown to Robinson. It's a very good tackle by Robinson, as you pointed out, because that's six. So, Summertown kind of getting in a hurry now, playing a little hurry up. Schaefer's going to take this one under center. He's got Edmondson right behind him. Summertown's on the 12. Got Brian in motion. Going to hand it off to Brian on the end around. He's trying to get vertical. He's going to get tackled for a short gain. That was a good job by the Mustangs jumping on that one. Never as, let him turn inside. As Kobe Carroll was there for the tackle for Loretto, and, you know, that little jet sweep just couldn't get to the edge. So second and six. Summertown can pick up a first down without scoring a touchdown. I don't know that Summertown's had a third down all night. Well, I think they did on the first on the first series, but first it was a series. third in inches. I think you're right. You're exactly right on that. All right, so Schaefer's out of shotgun again. He's got Edmondson and Green. Now they're going to run a shift at the line of scrimmage. I'm going to say start. that that I don't know if that's a that's. It's going to be a false start on Summertown. Yeah, that looked down. Oh, delay a game, excuse me. So the back judge got him for delay a game. And yep. You know, the clock, you see some places got the clocks in the end zone. There's one in this end zone. Yeah, they, I, they have them in oh, both Oh, they do. They zones. do have them in both. So that's. But yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't paying attention I wasn't, to it. Well. I'm, I'm curious if they're actually working because I know the one, they are. They're, they're running. The ones in Loretta do not work. Oh, really? No. Um, I've seen them work one time in three years. So that negates the game by Brian. Makes it second and 11 now. Back under center is Schaefer. Ball's out. Fumbles the snap, but he picks it up. Now he's going to get tackled in the backfield. May have lost it again. Oh, he still got on to it. I thought he – That was very dangerous, Cam. Yes. Schaefer tried to get a little bit extra, and he could have coughed it up and up again. So here's a big third down for Summertown. Two big defensive plays there for Loretta. One on the false start, but then on the – sack of Schaefer, the losing yard. So it's going to be third and 12, and it's always hard to pick up first downs when you're this deep in the red zone. Give a big shout-out to all the Loretta faithful. They've pretty well filled up the other set of bleachers on fair week. Yeah, that's a good crowd. Summertown student section. We'll probably get a shot of them down there on the in the end zone. We'll get a shot of them later on. Schaefer back in the shotgun. Loretta got away with offsides there. Going to throw to the end zone to Richardson. They're going to say it's incomplete. Overthrew him just a bit. I mean, Robertson to Gavin Robinson. That pass is incomplete. I don't Sometimes see going to go for it. Yeah. I think, uh, I think our good friend, Mr. John Daniel, just leaned in here and said, uh, I think our kicker's hurt. So, oh, no. maybe going for a lot of two-point or, or you know, any a lot. It, it, I think the very first game ever on this field, we saw that. Um, Summertown didn't kick an extra point all night and went for two every time. And fourth down, they were going for it. All right. 
This so fourth, fourth and 12, ball's on the 14. Got to get at least 12. Schaefer, out route to Robinson. He's caught it, but I don't think he's going to have the first down. No, he's, he's, he's going to be real close to the first down, Clint. I think he dropped it. Or did he drop he it? He did drop it. Well, he was waving like he uh, – Okay, I think you're right. I don't, I don't think he came down with it. Oh, it. So that pass is incomplete. So it'll be a turnover on downs. Good stand by Loretta. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in one minute. You're listening to the Pegasus Cup between Summertown and Loretta on Exports Radio. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. This is the X Sports Network. All right, welcome back. First down play for Loretta goes for a gain of one on the handoff to Caden Porter. Loretta is pinned back after turning Summertown over on down. It's second and nine. Carter Daniel hands off. He's going to get stuffed. Let's see, was that Porter again? Yeah. I couldn't see. Yeah, he just had nowhere to go. Summertown doing a good job of stacking the line of scrimmage. Carter Daniel last week showed that he, he could throw the ball and have success. Right. So, uh, I know Summertown's selling out to the run, but Carter Daniel has an arm that he's capable of completing the passes and getting them there. So, obvious passing down here. So, 39, as Cam says. Daniel is going to go under center. He's got Porter in the backfield with him. Two receivers that wide is going to pitch out to Porter. Porter's going to cut it back cross field, and he's got some running room. He's going to get the first down and then some. He just ran he, over the defender coming out. It's Robinson coming down trying to make a tackle, and I think if if Robinson could have got him held up there, he might have been short, but uh, I didn't see the play call. I, I, that's when, I, when they pitched it. I'm like, oh, no, here we go. But Porter did a good job of recognizing that th there was nothing on the right side, swapped it back to the weak side, and he was off to the yeah. races. As Cam said, it's kind of a sweep out to the right. Porter just kind of stutter stepped and read the field and picked up about 12 hard yards there on the left side. So it'll be first down. Daniel going to hand off to Porter again. He's busted up the middle for a short game. Summertown doing a good job of stuffing the run. Those turn around handoffs. Summertown setting all over. And I said Porter. I don't think that was Porter. I think that was cost. Uh, uh, Preston Colasac. Colasac, yep. yes. All right, so we picked up three on that one. We're under the four-minute mark here in the first quarter. And you don't have many passing plays, Cam. You get three quarters pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, you do. So, Daniel, hands off. It's Porter again. That's Porter again. He's broke about four tackles, and he's picked up another first down. The thing Cade does so well, he keeps his feet moving. Always churning. Always moving, yeah. And, and it's just so hard to bring in. He's a strong kid. He's a fast kid. I think Edmondson there on the tackle for Summertown. So that's running back meeting running back. Yeah, meet linebacker meet linebacker. Right. It's amazing how many of these kids go both ways all night. So first down again. Daniel on the sweep. Kicks out to Porter. Excuse me, that's not Porter. That's – yeah, that is Porter. He's, he's yeah. going to pick up about four and then go down. Yeah, that a good hit. first down sweep there by Loretta. That's the same toss that uh, – they ran on the third down play. It was all the way back in the, on the 14. It got the first down, except this time Porter ran it to the direction he's supposed to run it to and still had a nice gain on the first down and picked up eight. Something Caden's done a little better job of the last several weeks is is, is just getting more positive north and south mm -hmm. instead of east and west. He still goes east and west, but he's doing a really good job. Hand off up the middle on the – on the wreck to the fullback, Case Tucker. And he's going to power ahead and pick up another first down for Loretta. So, just as we saw in the first series of Summertown, both teams having a hard time stopping the run. 
just inching first downs at a time. Tucker's been a nice pickup for the Mustangs. Of course, transfers uh, in from Lawrence County for this year, and he's he's been a very, very pivotal player, both on offense and defense. He's a really good defensive player. He'll have multiple double-digit tackles tonight. I mean, there's – Big linebacker. Yeah, he, he, he's just – he's everywhere. Daniel, under center. He's got Tucker behind him in the fullback position, and he hands off to Porter. Porter cuts it back, spins across defender. He's punched ahead, and he's going to pick up about five on another first down carry. Yeah, he definitely – the spin move got him the extra three or four yards that he needed there to make that a nice run. I'll tell you, a lot of this, game we haven't gave you any credit yet, but you got to give some to that uh, – you got to give a lot of credit to this big Loretta – Offensive line Absolutely. right now. They're doing a good job keeping Summertown out of the backfield for any tackles for loss. It looked like early on that Loretta wasn't going to have any success running, but Daniel on the pitch out, sweep to that's Porter, Porter again. again. Yeah, he's going to pick up another first down. Yeah, there was nothing there, and that's what Caden Porter is so good at. There's no, there was literally nothing there. Summertown did a good job of getting out, and Porter bounces it out. He may be. He may be injured a little bit. He's limping off the field. That's not good for Loretta. No, no it's not. Maybe he's, maybe he's scared something more than he's hurt something. Very humid and may have a cramp too. Yeah, of course, he was injured last part of last year. And, you know, when we went up to Waverly for the, for the playoffs, he was not available. He didn't play in that game. Didn't play the last couple of weeks. All right, so Daniel, he's got a fullback and a running back. He's going to hand off to the fullback. Short game, but it is positive yards, and that's Kolasek. That's almost a wing T type handoff there. You had the fullback to your right, and you, you're kind of doing the wide turn like you're going back to the running back, but the, the fullback gets it as you're going back. That was a really smooth transition, but Summertown did a good job of recognizing who had the football. Shortest game Summertown's gave up in a while, I think, Cam, on first down. I only get three does Kolasek. But at second down and seven, we're under 20 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Loretta has crossed midfield. Handoff to Case Tucker. Plowing ahead for about three or four. That's going to be the last and play. And that'll be the last play of the first quarter where we're tied at zero. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. We're going to run some ads and send it back. You're listening to Summertown and Loretta in the Pegasus Cup on the X Sports Network. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gain Street, next to the courthouse. Make 2021 the year you refresh your home. And who are you going to call to help? Story and Lee, the Tennessee Valley's most dynamic furniture store. Featuring our Made in America galleries with solid wood dining and bedrooms, leather furniture, mattresses, and so much more. You want it? We've got it. With our three acres of showroom and our huge warehouse, we're sure to have exactly what you want. And it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free. Just try that anywhere else. We are Story and Lee. Hey friends, this is Barry Doss. Over the past 30 years, Doss Brothers Incorporated has grown from its humble beginnings to working daily to build the future of Lawrence and surrounding counties. From breaking ground to opening day, Doss Brothers has been there every step of the way for many businesses, industries, and homeowners in our community. With nearly 40 years under our belt and the blessing of every new day, we strive to keep building the foundation of our communities tomorrow. We are Doss Brothers, proudly building progress in Southern Tennessee. Sounds got it. All right, welcome back in to Summertown Loretto and Summertown Tennessee. And on the first play of the second quarter, it's a fumble by the Mustangs as Carter Daniel never had the football. I think it got trapped between him and the center. It was an odd play. Daniel, yeah. Daniel was looking behind him, 
and I don't think he ever had a clue the ball no. was even even snapped. And I don't think the offensive line knew except yeah. for the center. And just just kind of an odd play. <laughs> it, you, you guys didn't get to see it, but uh, but I didn't even see it either. Cam, yeah. you kind of woke me up. Yeah, he, he it was just a, a little miscommunication there, and Carter never got the football. And he, you're right, he looked behind him like, where did, where'd it go? And the center still had it, and he dropped it, and here we are. So, Summertown gets the break and the stop. It was that it couldn't get in the first quarter. They're going to hand off the first play to Anakin Johnson. And he's going to power ahead and maybe a game of one. Not much there on first down. Well, it's on the tackle for Loretto. Again, we want to thank Ben Luna and Sarah Luna for being here with us and uh, setting all this gear up, making this thing run. Hand off. Now, on the, now tried to run the option, did Schaefer. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to pick up maybe three or four. That'll make it third and five. Summertown on about the 48, 49 yard line. We got a Summertown player cramping up here. And you're going to see I that. I think we're going to see it a lot. Yeah, it, it is warm. It, it's, it's like, you know, last couple of weeks it was a little cooler and you didn't have quite as many cramp ups. When it's hot like this, you're going to have them, and that's that's just the nature of the beast, and I think that's what it is, although they're looking more up toward his – they're not stretching him out, so I'm not sure. All right, let's see. I think that's number 54, Daniel Brown, junior offensive and defensive lineman. I think it's more in a cramp. Yep. I tell you what, we'll take a break and uh, let the uh, paramedics and staff – Handle Daniel here, and we'll come back and uh, and uh, keep everybody posted. Give there are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available on the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on fuel for work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. It's time for some straight talk about zero-turn mowers. Husqvarna zero-turn performance mowers with rugged commercial drive give you high performance and a comfortable ride. Heavy-duty frame and chassis and commercial hydraulics take no punishment. With warranties now up to five years and low financing options, there's no competition. For a straight-up deal on the best in professional zero-turn mowers, go straight to your Husqvarna dealer. This is the X Sports Network. All right, welcome back. It's good to see uh, lineman Daniel Brown kind of walked off the field with a big limp on his own accord, but uh, nonetheless, it's 11 minutes, 12 seconds to go here in the first half. Summertown has the football near midfield. Third down, four to go. He didn't have his shoe on as he was coming off, so he, he may have just had a bad rolled ankle. I hope that's all it is, get him taped up and get him back out there. No score so far in this, and both teams have moved the ball pretty well, but Summertown got shut down in the red zone. Loretta had a turnover on their first possession and a little bad snap. Yeah. Schaefer trying to power ahead. He gets more than he probably ever should have after that snap. Well, that's the, that's the benefit, Clint, of having a big kid at quarterback. I tell you, you got, you got lucky two times. You got lucky that the ball didn't get fumbled and taken over there, but you also got lucky you didn't get a penalty on some kind of false start because that just looked screwed up from Kitco, yes, didn't it, Cam? So it's fourth and inches. Yep. Yeah, you're right. It did look – it almost did look like a false start. 
Cam, if from the games I've called for Summertown, I'm probably going to bet the farm that Summertown's probably going to try a hard count right here and see if they can't draw an offsides on Loretta. Do a pretty good job at it. That's where Tate these days comes in big. And Loretta coaches are going to tell their kids, hey, they're going to try it. Nope. Nope, going to just hand it off. And Edmund. I don't think he got it. No, luckily oh, Schaefer, did. Schaefer did get it back You're and right. kept it. I thought he handed off to Edmondson. I did too. And I thought Edmondson got stuffed. I, th I did too. And Loretta did a decent job of staying home and able to pick that up because I thought it was Edmondson all the way. I'm with you. Quarterback got uh, uh, faked to me and Cam out on that one. And that's another perk of having a long, tall, strong quarterback oh, as Schaefer. Under 10 minutes to go in the first half now. No score. All right. So, ball on the 45 of Loretta. Schaefer under center. Going to hand off up the middle of the lane. Green, he rolls ahead for a gain of about five on first down. Yeah, that handoff is – I mean, he stuffs it in their chest whenever he's ready to give it to them. And, it, it, you know, to me it seems that could be dangerous because if, if – you stuff it in there, and they're, and it pops out because – It's tough. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's obviously something they practice a lot because that that does look like that would be you, – you could definitely have a turnover there if you're not careful. All right, so he's got a lone running back this time. That's the big man, Edmondson. Schaefer under center again. He's got two receivers out to his left. He's going to hand it down the end of round to Anakin Johnson. He's turned the corner. He's got That's a first a down. That's a horse collar tackle. I don't see any flags. Wow. But, uh, <laughs> wow. But uh, don't see a lot of arguments from the Summertown crowd either, so maybe yeah. they got him inside. I, I don't know, but, boy. Didn't look good from here, did it, Clint? But either way, it'll pick up a first down. It was away from us. We shouldn't. Me and Cam critique referees enough as it is in basketball season. So we'll, we'll give them a break in football season. <laughs> well, I, I've been guilty this year. You know, of course, we had the re-kick game. And right. Yeah, I was keeping up with that game. That, yeah. was, that was rough. Still not sure what that was about. But uh, nonetheless, here we are. So first down for Summertown. Ty Bryan in motion. Going to hand it off to Edmondson up the middle. Powers ahead for a short game. Yeah, you're right. You said it a minute ago. This game's moving along very quickly. I think Schaefer's thrown two passes, yeah. one complete, one incomplete. And I think that's been our only pass plays of the game. Everything stayed on the ground. No team has used a timeout. We haven't had an we've had an injury timeout, but yeah. other than that, we've we've kind of swept this thing along here. At eight minute mark. Eight to go here in the second quarter. No score still. Schaefer is back to throw now. Fires across the middle and he's hit his receiver. That's number eight, Michael Abbott. Tell you what, Schaefer has got a rocket launcher tied to that left arm. That's a good, it's a good play, but it's even better catch by Abbott as he was sandwiched. Good throw, puts it right between two defenders, but good job by Abbott because he got popped as soon as he hit it. I think that was Sermones on one side of him, and I think let's see Case Tucker on the other side of him. I remember when Schaefer was a freshman. I said, this kid's got a shot to be really good and I think this is obviously this year being his last year he's I keep up with him through the summer as he's right. going to camps and stuff he's he's got no, busted play Summertown all in the wrong spot on that one tried the reverse hands off to Johnson but he runs into Grant Tidwell he runs into Schaefer on the handoff so that's going to bring up a loss of one Grant Tidwell for Loretto on the tackle he was they're waiting on it. Yeah, I think that was one of those situations where I think Schaefer may have missed it, the guy he wanted to initially hand it off to and had to had to quickly yep. get, get it to somebody else. All right, so he's got Brian in motion again. Sweep, runs the sweep out to Edmondson. Edmondson cuts it up the middle. He's going to be close to the first down. I think he does have it. Yeah. And uh, Edmondson powers ahead on the sweep. It will be spotted around the 11 yard they're line. Move, they're moving the chain. So yeah. it will be first down, Summertown. It says ball is on the 11. So, I, you know, and they still can pick up the first down, which well, is interesting. You know, you can get it inside the one and still get a first down if you're Summertown. You know, last series, Summertown's got to learn from the last time they were in this position. 
They got a good first down play, got first and second and five, then, yeah, picked, then picked up a penalty and had to back it up. They're and they saying never... he's short of the first down, Clint, so it's third and one. All right, so Schaefer going to power ahead on the keeper. Let's see how much forward progress they give him. He should have picked it up on I, that one. I, I would think so. He's, they're, they're down inside the 10 now. And they say, they say that will be yep. first down. So it'll be first and goal now with 6-13 to play in the second quarter. Still no score. Summertown's been here before. Maybe not quite inside the 10. Got to the 14. and Got to the 14, got a penalty, and never got positive yeah. yards again. So you gotta got to be smarter on this one. If you're, if you're low ready, you're just trying to – you're trying to keep them off that edge like you were that last possession and turn the ball over again. So, Schaefer, under center. Bryant running the end around. Now they're going to sweep it out to Edmondson. Edmond trying to get wide. Cuts it back inside. He's close, He's but not, he didn't get in. No. Let's see what they gave him on the stretch out. It looks like almost the one. Yeah. It's going to be real close to the one. Cam, I'm not over coaching this one. It's Schaefer Edmondson yeah. <laughs> right here. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. Uh, they they're the horses that got you here, and I don't think you go any other direction. Second and one, ball is on the one. Summertown in threatening here. Loretta trying to keep Summertown out of the end zone. Of course, Loretta had the turnover at the forty at the Summertown forty-five. That's what got Summertown the ball back, and they're trying to make Loretta pay for it. Loretta going to try to shift at the line of scrimmage. Behind center, Schaefer. Hands it off to Green. Green's going to punch it in for the touchdown for Summertown. We've got to score our first score of the contest, and it must be baby powder night here in Summertown. Look at the student section back there. <laughs> I don't know what that deal is. Yeah, count me out of that. I don't All want right. any of that. So, touchdown lane green for Summertown. And that was uh, – we had a game earlier this year where the student section – for one of the teams had baby powder and it it will choke you. All right, looks like I think this is Logan Love. Does that say number ten? I can't see. I, I don't have the angle on him. See. What was Case going. Tucker? He was trying to. Case Tucker he, was trying to get in. Let's see. He was he jumped over the line of scrimmage. So now Summertown will bring the offense back on. They'll go for two. That was Anthony Williams back, not the normal kicker for. Summertown, I don't think. But as Cam said, after the offsides, puts it all on the one, Summertown's going to go for two. Yeah, it's half the distance at that point. I don't – It's like Summertown's going to call a timeout here, Clint, I do believe. All right, I, I don't know what's going on. Here. I don't either. They're... Summertown's wanting an explanation from the head coach. Oh, he, He's going to want to take it on the – it's a personal foul. It's what they're. Call I don't know how that's a personal foul. Jumping over the line. I mean, I know you can't launch yourself like that, but I don't know how it's a personal foul. All right. So and so, scratch what we said. Summertown's Summertown's going to go for the one point conversion. Well, they're and, gonna and get the I obvious, they are. obviously going to get to kick 15 yards closer on this kick ensuing off. kick. Right. Run. So they're going to take the penalty on the kickoff. But I, exactly we're going right. to have to get somebody to verify how that was anything but offsides to me unless he he's he jumped on top of the summer like put right. his foot on their on their helmet or I, something i think i think if he did that he would have done it to his own player but that may yeah, be a you personal may be right. foul as well I, it, it, I know you cannot launch yourself right. off of another player right. so that may be i don't know that it's a personal foul but i don't know what the exact call is to be honest with you and so anthony williams back to kick the extra point the kicks up and it's good <laughs> Summertown leads seven to nothing with four, with about five minutes to go here in the first quarter. We're going to take a thirty-second break, get us a chance to wet our whistle. We'll be right back. You're listening to the X Sports Radio Network. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union. Not for profit. For service. This is the X Sports Network. All 
Welcome back to Summertown side of the 2021 Pegasus Cup. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Summertown just punched it in for the first score of the contest, and they lead 7 to nothing. If you're just now joining us, this is Clint Brazier, and I'm joined with a good buddy, Mr. Cam Mashburn. Kind of got the band back together on this slow red of Summertown rivalry. I'm glad you still think of me as a friend, so that, that – that got a little bit off my chest there. Well, yeah, why wouldn't I? I? Lincoln's been asking to come see you. He said, I need a haircut. We need to go see Clint. Well, I like Lincoln a lot better than I do, oh, as, oh, do sure. his dad. I mean. Sure. Uh, so, uh, the explanation is you cannot jump over the line like Case Tucker did. Doesn't period. matter if it's your team or the other <laughs> right. team. No leaping. Right. Uh, it is something you don't see a lot, but you can't do it at all, and it's a personal foul regardless. So, Summertown's – so they can kick this into the up run. They're going to onside. An onside kick. I like the thought process, but it didn't work, and that's a great job there by number 44, Jaden Stultz, 10th grader out of Loretta. Good hands and just falls down on it. So Loretta's going to start in good field position. Summertime elects not to kick it deep with well, that head start. So if you kick it, you're going to kick it in the end zone. It's going to be a right. touchback. You're at the 25. So, really, all you're giving up is 10 yards. 10 yards on a it, chance it, to get the ball back. Exactly. I, I like the call. Uh, it, it, you may think it's a head scratcher. It's really not because you're only giving lower at a 10. It's a 50 50 chance, and you give up 10 yards. No big deal. All right. So, Carter under center. Going to hand it off up the middle to number two, Case Tucker. I, I, you know, you have to wonder about Caden Porter. Porter. We saw him get hurt. He's not out there right now. He's not out there right now. That's that's not a good sign for Loretto. He is their main guy uh, in this offense as far as running the football. And of course, Case Tucker is very capable. I'm trying to look for him on the sideline anywhere, but I'm about blind, so I can't pick up. I can't see a number 21 over there. No. I can't, they all kind of look blurry, anyways. I see. He's Daniel, standing back to throw. Running on the route. He's got a man. That's Tucker again. He, I think he does catch it. Let's see if they say he comes down in bounds. He's out of bounds. And they're going to rule him out of bounds. So, so Porter is standing next to Coach Daniel on the far right of the, the Loretta sideline. Uh, he's standing up. I, I, I see him now. Yeah. I, I don't know. He, he's right beside Coach Daniel. I think he's – Maybe over there begging to let him go back in. Well, I, there's no question. I mean, the kid's <laughs> a competitor. There's no question there. Big third down here. Third and seven. Carter Daniel in the shotgun. He's dropped back to pass. Looking, seeing the field. He's got a little bit of time. Got a man. Let's see if he stays in bound. They give him the did. catch, and yeah. he did. That's nice footwork. Jack Welch here on the sideline. That was an excellent catch, excellent throw. Uh, we got two good quarterbacks tonight. We got two guys that can put the ball where they want them. Uh, one's a senior, one's a sophomore, but they're um, – I, I see a lot of similarities in the two kids, Only for did. sure. Just, just – One's right-handed, one's left-handed. Right, Both yeah. can run. Both strong. And that's a great throw by Daniel. He put it where only one person could catch it, and that was his receiver. Handoff up the middle. Let's see. That's the big man, Kulisek. number 26, Kolasek. He's going to power ahead for another first down. That's big boy football right there. That's you heard some banging. helmets yeah. popping on that one. <laughs> that's uh, something you don't hear nowadays. And Loretto already across midfield with four minutes to play here in the second quarter. Summertown leading seven to nothing. I want to let everybody that uh, can see on our camera work here, if, I think he's just crossing your view. He's got his straw hat on. Good to see Howard Johnson out uh, getting around. I think he's starting to feel a little bit better, Cam. That's yeah, good to see, man. He's been a fixture of sports longer than about anybody in the county. Another throw. Daniel on the rollout, and he's got a man. That's Sermones. That's Sermones. Hit Sermones in stride. There's Sermones powers ahead for a first down. But There's as Cam a, said, we do have a flag. Yeah, we'll have to see what this is on. It's going to be holding on Loretto. Uh, it was thrown at the offensive line of Loretta, and that's going to back him up 10 yards from the spot. So that's not what Loretta needed. Chop block. Chop block. Well, I, I knew it had to be on Loretta because where the flag was thrown, but that's what I get for trying to guess what the what the well, call is going to be. But it, that's you, you were close. It's typically what yeah. it is, but in the large County game, I think I was 0 for 20 in trying to guess what the – Penalty was, and I'm well, giving up. The only bad thing about the chop block and the hold, the chop block's a personal foul. Yeah, that's – you're right. So, killer and momentum there for Loretta. But, the way Loretta's looked on this drive, hey, it's just two plays, and they'll be right back to where they were. It's still first down. Daniel, back in the shotgun. He's got Kolasek to his left. He's going to hand it off to him. Kolasek, he's wrapped up. 
Got him from behind. About the line of scrimmage, that's running back Lane Green, who has the only touchdown of the game for either team. And that will make it a long second down and 24. Right at three minutes to go here in the first half. I want you to remind everybody, stay with us at halftime. We're going to kind of go over other sports around Loretta and Summertown between our breaks and things. Daniel, back to throw. He's rolling out to his left. Cuts it over to number seven, Jack Welch. He drops it, and I still don't know that he would have been in bounds no, if he, he had would, caught no, it. No, he, w- he wouldn't have been. And uh, I actually think the ball may have actually hit a Summertown player on the sidelines is what kind of deflected. So it's a long third down with under three to play in the first half. Seven nothing Summertown. And if you're Loretto, I mean, I know you – I said a minute ago, you got to throw the ball, right? I mean, that's – but, I mean, we saw the sweep. But with – I think Porter may be back in. He is – all right, it's Caden Porter back in the game, as Cam just said. Daniel in the shotgun. He's rolling out to his left toward us. Going to let one fly, and he's got a man. That's Welch. Oh. Ball gets swatted around. Hey, I tell you what, I think Bryant, Ty Bryant for Summertown did a good job, job defending. I think Welch did a great job just keeping him between him. Yeah. Welch almost caught that one-handed. We might have could have had a flag there, but uh, that will keep it. Yeah. Fourth down and 24. Here's where you are. Cam, if you're Loretta with that pass play, you're stopping the clock. And you're going to give Summertown the ball with nearly three minutes to go. Yeah, and, and of course, Schaefer can air it out as well. That, it, it. So, Loretta back to punt. And it will be Case Tucker also. He does the punting for the Mustangs. So Kid it, can do it all. He, yeah, he can He can literally do it all. And so it's going to be interesting to see what the, he, he kicks it about 35 yards, and that's what the coach's staff we got, told we got, me. We've got a flag back here. Is it delay a game? Because where it came from, it would be in the area, but it's incomplete. It is. It's delay, delay a game. I tell, I I tell you what. I don't understand that. I don't. I don't know if that if that's delay a game. That that play clock got started way too fast. Well, I never saw the play clock start. Period. Um. I mean, you still got to watch the back judge, but still. All right, so Tucker is going to let the punt fly. Looks that's like it's heading out of bounds down the right side, and that's where it'll go out around the 35, if my guesstimation's right. Let's see where that back judge stops. Yep. So it's yeah. close to there. 36-yard line. You know, that's not um, not the, be- the worst, not the best, but uh, – you know, Summertown is going to have a little over two minutes to try to get back in the end zone. Got to get your defense fired up here if you're Loretta, especially um, if you're an offensive player. Tell them get them a stop for you. Because Hey, Loretta's knocking on the door. They've just had two two plays. It's cost them a ton. Schaefer. And out. Throwing to Ty Bryant. He's going to throw it out of bounds. Excuse me, that's not Ty Bryant. That is number 11, Ryan Chapman. Yeah, just overthrew him just a touch. But, that you know, no harm, no foul on that. Stops the clock. Still gives you plenty of time. Oh, Summertown has plenty of time. Three timeouts and two and a half minutes to go. You, know, you don't have to just air it out. It. No, you know, you're right. It's not a it's not a hurry up or anything like that. And it's not even really your two-minute drill at this point. But Schaefer back to throw again. Fires across. He does have Chapman in stride that time. Chapman's going to pick up first down as he crosses midfield. Loretta was in zone, a zone defense. Chapman found a seam, a hole, and he just sat on it. So clock's under two and a half. Right at midfield. Schaefer's in the shotgun. He's got Edmondson to his left. Hands off to Edmondson. Evans is going to get wrapped up in the backfield. Nice job by Connor Pope breaking the line of scrimmage and bringing down Edmondson for the loss. Edmondson's a big, strong runner, but he, he, he you know, he don't hit the hole as quick as, as maybe he should sometimes, and that and that allows him. We've seen a couple times now he's got wrapped up from behind, but maybe because there's no hole there. Right. Oh, bad snap. Bad snap. It's fumbled, but Schaefer picks it up, and he's rolling around. He's going to just take the sack. That's Pope again. Connor Pope, two times in a row on two sacks. And that is a momentum killer. I think if you're Summertown now, that makes it third and ten. I think you're content with uh, trying to run a little clock here and punt. Well, it's third and 
in 20. Third and 25. 25, yeah. So, uh, Colton wanted to get rid of that ball so bad. You could see him pumping it, wanting just to uh, have somebody he could throw it in the feet of. That way it wouldn't be intentional grounding. But uh, he wisely held on to it because it, it could end up being a fumble if you if you get rid of it. He or, did an a good inter, job. or an interception. Or an interception <laughs> potential. You're right. Wise call there. He's dropped back to pass, going to run the screen. Edmondson's got it. He's cutting back up the middle. He's got a lot of the loss back on the sack, but nowhere near the first down. It'll be fourth and 12. And the clock is ticking. Let's see if Loretta tries to use timeout and maybe get a play or make Summertown have to punt. Summertown is going to have to punt, but uh, see if Loretta wants any little bit more time left when they do. Well, I'm, I'm the aggressive type, and I would – I would be, I, you know, that's why I'm not a coach. That's right. why I'm up here. Right. I mean, about an 18 – about a – 16-second difference right now. Uh, play clock, game clock. I would be wanting the ball back, but, again, I mean, Coach Daniel is like, look, I, we're going to get the ball first uh, after the half, so, you know, and there's finally I, timeout kinda, summer test. Kinda, kinda what, yeah, kind of what I was thinking. They're probably going to let that play clock go as low as it could before they take a timeout sure. here with 16 to go. You know, I get the thought process on on the Loretta side of it. I don't have any issue with that, but I'm a riverboat gambler. I'm, I'm aggressive. <laughs> I, I'm going after it. You know, I'm I'm one of those type. But again, that's why I'm sitting here and not on the sidelines. But you also have your best player, your best running yeah, back is sure, hurt. You sure. might want to just get to halftime, make sure. some adjustments no, right yeah, here. There's there's reasons for it, no doubt. And uh, you know, that's 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 huge for Loretta. If if if, if Porter is only going to be limited. I mean, 75% Caden Porter is still pretty dang good. That's right. But um, you, 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 this is a region game, so it, it's there's a lot riding here. And you obviously need this game for postseason hopes. But at the same time, uh, there's still other games to be played. So, you know, the kid's health is number one. But at the same time. It's also Summertown Loretta. That kid Summertown wants to be Loretta, out there. Right. <laughs> it's exactly right. That's, that's what I was getting at. All right. So. Anthony Williams for Summertown, back to punt. 16 seconds to go before we go to the half. I think Case Tucker's going to be back to receive this one for Loretto. You are correct. So, he, he kicks the punts and he receives the punts. Uh, I'm and telling he, you. He, he plays linebacker. Play Iron man. He, yeah, he does it all. He, that's, he's been a huge Plenty of time up. to kick is Williams. And Tucker's got it. He's feeling it about the five. Sweeping across the field, he miss, avoids one tackle, but then he's wrapped oh. up by a host of defenders. And we've got two – well, I don't know why we haven't stopped the clock. Yeah. Clock ran down to one. I think both sides are okay with that, but either way, the ball will have to be snapped. That's one of those deals. I, if the head coach says, look, we're just going to snap – you know, well, I mean, I get it. I mean, I get why you snap it, but at the same time, it's – I mean, if Loretta fumbles it, obviously Summertown's like, hey, you know, we could get a shot at it, but – I'm okay with just calling it and going into the house. That's right. <laughs> well, going, it, it avoid, going to have, yeah. It avoids injuries. It's nothing sure. Else. You know what I mean? Right. Well, Summertown in there drop back. They're not going to try. They're going to let anything deep get across, and that is a big running play there for number 26, Kolasek. But that will end up the first half. Summertown leads 7 to nothing. We'll be back in just a little bit. Stay with us. You're listening to the Ed Sports Network. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. Hi folks, this is Josh from Stryker Steakhouse in Lawrenceburg. Come check us out for lunch or dinner seven days a week and try one of our daily lunch specials, awesome burgers, or one of our mouth-watering hand-cut steaks. Come see Hi folks, this is Josh from Stryker Steakhouse in Lawrenceburg. Come check us out for lunch or dinner seven days a week and try one of our daily lunch specials, awesome burgers, or one of our mouth-watering hand-cut steaks. Come see us or call it in and let us help keep your kitchen clean. And don't forget, we cater too. That Stryker Steakhouse, located next door to Kingpin Lanes, Massey Avenue and Cruise Street in Lawrenceburg. Let our family feed your family at Stryker Steakhouse. 
Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. This is the X Sports Network. All right, welcome back to halftime here at the Pegasus Cup. Loretta Marching Band is on the field. I think I Cam. I think they said they're uh, doing a tribute to Boston, the band. I said sticks and some other things. I'm, I'm not. It, it, yeah. I, I wasn't listening clear it's, enough. But uh, I, Cam, I, I'm not sure. Before we take us a break to go get us see the concession stands and everything let's start with loretta big question mark right now they've got no score they're only down seven to nothing but you feel like your best running back and player that would, has a question mark beside it because he went yeah. down and he's t- playing time has been limited since he came back what we count maybe one play that he, he was he, back he, in on offense he was in on one play but he he didn't get a touch um i you know i asked the coaching staff as they went by so i said what's an update and they're like they just kind of shrugged their shoulders. Right. Didn't know. Well, nobody wants to give anything away either. But uh, uh, well, I mean, I feel like they would have. Right. If they knew, they would have. Especially the health of somebody. Sure. And not not saying we would have shared it, but they would have. They would have told me, but they didn't. They, they didn't <laughs> even know. So. But uh, uh, but let's good. let's go over a little right up. You know, huge two huge stops right now on plays. Summertown had a lot of uh, had a lot of things working for them. Cause a big fumble. I know they they actually had a big fumble that stopped yeah. the first drive of them, and then on the they've had two two plays two possessions of offense where they were marching where they looked like they were fixing to get in the end zone, they get killed on one a on a personal foul on a chop block yeah. that backs them up fifteen, and then one on a fumble. So Loretta has been in position to score the football every time they've had the football. Uh, Summertown on the other hand, they've got one possession where they've had the ball three times. Loretta stopped them twice. Summertown scored on one, and that is the difference in this ball game right now. Yeah, and it and it's it's when how these games have always went between these two schools. It's a hard fought game. It's physical. It's battled in the trenches. It's everybody giving one hundred and fifty percent as you know as much as they can. And the one thing about these games is you never know how it's going to end. No, ever because that's any sport between these two teams get together because. You know, the first year they played each other, you know, Loretta, it was Summertown's first year. And, mm-hmm. I, you know, Loretta, you know. Close there for a little bit. Well, Loretta ran away from uh, I mean, they uh, they shut them out first mm-hmm. year. But the first, the next year, whenever it was here, you know, Loretta had a huge lead. And Thank you thought, okay, I mean, Loretta's going to do it to him again. But, you know, Chase Moat took over that game, if you'll remember. And that, that was an overtime game, wasn't it? I don't know if Did that it went get- to overtime or not, but, it you know, it was a 36 36- 20 games, Summertown come back and, you know, and, and blew but, Loretto out. So that's right. But that was 36 second-half points, I believe, wasn't it? I think it? you're right. It was 36 unanswered. Yeah. And so, I mean, who knows in how this game in line, you know, two years ago, it was all, it was all, you know, it went to, that was the overtime game was two years ago. Uh, um, but uh, here, and that game was back and forth. There were some questionable calls in that one. And, then last year, of course, Loretta gets the win. I mean, it's 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 just been back and forth. Well, it's Summertown. It's Loretta. It's going to happen. All right, so we're going to take us about a five-minute break. We're going to go to the concession stands and go do a little visiting, do a little politicking. We may want to run for something. Election season coming up. <laughs> so uh, not, not this guy. So uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll be back in about five minutes, getting ready for second act of action. This is. Summertown and Loretta for the Pegasus Cup on the Export Network. Flooring. 
and sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Whether it's popcorn, biscuits, or automotive, you need the right ingredients to achieve the best results. Heritage Automotive is proud to serve our community with a continually growing inventory. We also help our community grow by contributing to a vibrant economy which helps build schools. I'm Keith Durham and I'm the General Manager here at Heritage Automotive and it's my job to make sure that you're 100% satisfied. Heritage Automotive, your hometown Chevy, Buick and GMC dealer. Hey folks, this is Fred Webb, Principal Broker and Owner of United Country Southern Tennessee Realty in Lawrenceburg. Your local Realtree Land Pro agent, specializing in country homes, farms, and land. If you're thinking about selling or would like a free comparative market analysis to see what your property is worth, please give us a call at 931-244-7126. We market your property worldwide to get you the most exposure, which in turn gets you the highest price in the shortest amount of time. Visit us at southerntnrealty.com. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your local sports forecast. I'm Fred Gossage from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center with this forecast update for tonight and headed into your Friday and the weekend as well. Your hourly forecast for tonight as you head home from these football games looking mostly cloudy out here. Any evening showers will be ending early, so by the time you see this, rain will be wrapping up. And then maybe some patchy fog toward the late overnight and the pre-dawn hours toward our daybreak on Friday here. Otherwise, partly sunny to wake up on Friday. Temperatures in the mid-60s warming already toward the mid-70s by 10 a.m. on your Friday under partly sunny skies, and I think Friday's gonna be our relatively rain-free day for the next several. Here's our future cast breakdown for tonight and going into Friday. Upper 60s here as we head through the 11 o'clock hour, dipping down to the mid 60s toward daybreak under mostly cloudy skies. Maybe a few sun breaks here and there. And then the clouds kind of break up further as we head into the afternoon. Most of us reaching the mid 80s here on a Friday afternoon under partly sunny skies, maybe mostly sunny here and there. And if there's a decent amount of sunshine over northwest Alabama, maybe a few upper 80s here and there. I can't completely rule out a shower on Friday, but I think the chance of rain is less than 20%, closer to 10%, so we won't put it on the seven day forecast. Just don't be surprised if you see a stray shower. But I think Friday night football game weather for other football games will be just fine as well. Then as we head into the evening, clouds continue to dissipate during Friday night with temperatures dropping through the 60s. And for the weekend ahead, showers and thunderstorms come back in, especially on Saturday. They will be scattered in nature, but they'll be much more widespread on Sunday as this cold front finally moves into the area with locally heavy rain possible, especially Sunday afternoon, Sunday night into early Monday, and then lingering showers for much of next week. Here's your hour by hour breakdown for your Friday, partly sunny out there through the day. Again, can't completely rule out a shower, but the chance of rain is less than 20%, so we won't put it on the icons here. Highs in the mid 80s, generally speaking, maybe a few upper 80s in northern Alabama, but generally low to mid 80s seem likely for everyone. And the next seven days, Fridays are break in the rain. Showers and thunderstorms scattered in fashion on Saturday. Rain and thunderstorms likely, especially by the second half of Sunday in the early Monday. And then scattered showers hang on through much of next week with an upper level low hanging out nearby. Notice temperatures also drop a bit back into the low to mid 70s next week for afternoon highs and daytime morning lows back into the 50s. There's a look at your seven day forecast. You can always get the latest information on the free Tennessee Valley Weather app. You can download that in the Apple App Store and Google Play. And you can catch our all local 24 seven digital weather channel, the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel on Roku and Amazon Fire TV.
98.3 and 103.5 WLX is now home of the University of North Alabama Lions. Files under center, quick pitch out to Howell. Howell runs through a defender into the end zone. Touchdown, North Alabama. Jawan Howell from two yards out. Covering all of Northwest Alabama and Southern Tennessee on FM 98.3 and 103.5. Plus, around the world at WLXonline.com. Here's Hall loose at midfield. He's at the 40. Two men to beat 30, 20, 15, 10. Cortez Hall into the end zone. Touchdown, North Alabama. Never miss a game. Download the WLX radio app right now in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Swan has it. Touchdown, North Alabama. Hear the roar of the Lions across the Tennessee Valley on 98.3 and 103.5. WLX. Roar Lions. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience in our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Like you, our roads are in Lawrence County. Providing banking for every stage of life since 1934, Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gaines Street, next to the courthouse. Make 2021 the year you refresh your home. And who are you going to call to help? Story and Lee, the Tennessee Valley's most dynamic furniture store. Featuring our Made in America galleries with solid wood dining and bedrooms, leather furniture, mattresses, and so much more. You want it? We've got it. With our three acres of showroom and our huge warehouse, we're sure to have exactly what you want. And it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free. Just try that anywhere else. We are Story and Lee. Hey friends, this is Barry Doss. Over the past 30 years, Doss Brothers Incorporated has grown from its humble beginnings to working daily to build the future of Lawrence and surrounding counties. From breaking ground to opening day, Doss Brothers has been there every step of the way for many businesses, industries, and homeowners in our community. With nearly 40 years under our belt and the blessing of every new day, we strive to keep building the foundation of our communities tomorrow. We are Doss Brothers, proudly building progress in Southern Tennessee. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available on the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air, so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. It's time for some straight talk about zero-turn mowers. Husqvarna zero-turn performance mowers with rugged commercial drive give you high performance and a comfortable ride. Heavy-duty frame and chassis and commercial hydraulics take no punishment. With warranties now up to five years and low financing options, there's no competition. 
for a straight up deal on the best in professional zero turn mowers. Go straight to your Husqvarna dealer. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union. Not for profit. For service. Hi folks, this is Josh from Stryker Steakhouse in Lawrenceburg. Come check us out for lunch or dinner seven days a week and try one of our daily lunch specials, awesome burgers, or one of our mouth-watering hand-cut steaks. Come see us or call it in and let us help keep your kitchen clean. And don't forget, we cater too. That Stryker Steakhouse, located next door to Kingpin Lanes, Massey Avenue and Cruise Street in Lawrenceburg. Let our family feed your family at Stryker Steakhouse. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and the look you deserve. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floor by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Whether it's popcorn, biscuits, or automotive, you need the right ingredients to achieve the best results. Heritage Automotive is proud to serve our community with a continually growing inventory. We also help our community grow by contributing to a vibrant economy which helps build schools. I'm Keith Durham and I'm the General Manager here at Heritage Automotive and it's my job to make sure that you're 100% satisfied. Heritage Automotive, your hometown Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealer. Hey folks, this is Fred Weld, principal broker and owner of United Country Southern Tennessee Realty in Lawrenceburg. Your local Realtree Land Pro agent specializing in country homes, farms, and land. If you're thinking about selling or would like a free comparative market analysis to see what your property is worth, please give us a call at 931-244-7126. We market your property worldwide to get you the most exposure, which in turn gets you the highest price in the shortest amount of time. Visit us at southerntnrealty.com. You're watching the X Sports Network and listening live on WWLX AM 590 and W291DG 106.1 Lawrenceburg and W226 AM 93.1 Loretto. Broadcast services of Prospect Communications. All right, welcome back to 
Summertown, Tennessee. Summertown set to kick off, start this second half. Summertown leads 7 to nothing. If you're just now joining us, we've got a whole second half football action to go. And Cam, as we touched on, Loretta kind of kicked herself in the foot two times on two drives. And, uh, and so we're expecting anything to happen here in this second half. Well, that ball went right through the wickets of Case Tucker. He was able to get it up. He's still on his feet, Clint. He gets behind a blocker, yeah. and he's going to have a nice little return. If you're Summertown, you're thinking, thank God it went through his feet or he'd be at midfield right now. <laughs> Some, You know, sometimes when a, when a, a, a kick or a punt returner bobbles one, especially a kick returner, it seems like that actually sometimes can work to the benefit because it lets the blockers get set up and gets guys in weird positions. Uh, you, your, your defenders are maybe overrun something right. because they're – going to one spot, and then next thing you know, they got to pivot. But we're ready to take over now. Let's see. Is that Tucker? Tucker is in the backfield. Yeah. Still no Porter. Uh, that's handoff to Tucker, and he powers head up the middle. Short, very short gain. Yeah, I still still no update on Caden Porter. I know he's, he's standing still right next to Coach Daniel. Got those hands on his hips like, somebody ever going to put me in this game? Yeah, I, I – I don't know if that's by design or if he's in the coach's ear saying, put me in. All right, so second down and eight. Daniel in the shotgun. He's got Tucker beside him. Excuse me. Now he's going to throw the pass out to number seven, Jack Welch, and that sells wide. Uh, he he threw, had to throw across his body a little bit there. trying to. He was flushed out. He had to get rid of it pretty quick, so that's about his – about as accurate as, as you can expect him to throw. Third down. All right, so third and eight. All right. Daniel, set back to throw. He's got plenty of time. Now he's going to roll to his right. Looking, looking. Now he's going to drop it and run. Got a flag down. Let's see what we got. Usually a hold if it's that deep. Yeah, that, that's kind of the area it was. But you never know. I mean, it is going to be on Loretta. It is a holding. Do want to give a shout out to our good buddy and uh, former softball coach at Loretta, Mr. Justin Tidwell. That texted me and you both, and he said uh, we're seriously going to need y'all's pick for the Saban Kiffin game. The last time they played each other was the block against with Mount Cody. I don't think either one of us care I, about that game. Yeah, do I don't. I don't yeah. know why he needs to bring that stuff no, up. No, I don't either. I don't. It's, it's probably the last game I'll watch. I mean, Justin, game. that's like me talking about Summertown beating y'all all the time in softball the last three or four years. You know, <laughs> that's low blow. <laughs> low blow. I'm waiting on the state championship basketball to come up next. All right, so Loretta does punt, and that's. Bryant back, but he's going to let it go, and it looks like it's going to come to rest at about the 30, where Summertown will take over. Now, that is that is going to be interesting, because right now Ole Miss playing some pretty doggone good football, and I think, you know, that win Alabama had against Miami does not look very good right now. Well, it's still early. You never know. I mean, I, I have not been this disinterested in college football probably in my entire life. It's, it's, until this year, cause, I mean, after what happened in Knoxville this over the winter, I just – I just don't even care anymore. <laughs> I re I really don't. Until they start winning, I'm not gonna. Do, I'm not gonna ruin my Saturdays. Yep. Watching that. All right. So Schaefer's under center. He's got Johnson behind him. Bryant in motion. He's gonna hand off to Bryant. Bryant with the hot wigs. He's running, trying to get to corner, but he's nothing there, and he's gonna get wrapped up. Short gain. That that's one of those situations where he needs to try to get north and south instead and, of east and west, real and he, quick. And he had a, he had an opportunity to get about three or four more yards if he cuts it in. And uh, he just kept it wide. Right. Yeah, that was the problem. Not going to get the home run ball that I think he was probably looking for, right. but he was going to get three or four more. So, second down and eight. I'm being told Caden Porter has a sprained ankle, rolled ankle, whatever. You can, he's I questionable gotcha. for returns. So, yeah, I mean, as a running back, that's kind of a part of, <laughs> part of your ability to run the football. And around. Now they're going to hand it off Lane Green. Lane Green cut the corner. He's going to have the first down and then some. He's brought it off close to midfield, about the 48. Now he's going to get a personal foul for throwing the football, pointing for the first down. I, see, I don't like that flag. Well, I, mean, I, I do, and I'm a Summertown guy. I mean, you've pointed for the first down, you don't have to flip it up the field, and that's what he did, and that's what he's going to get. 
So, that's probably going to back Summertown. That's after the foul, so they're still going to get the first down, but now they're going to have to back up 15 yards and go farther. So, just a delay of game, not a personal foul. First down and All right, so first and 10, balls on the 42. 9.52 here to go in the third. Summertown leads 7 to nothing. if you're just joining us. So thank all of our viewers. I think Ben Luna said at one time we were over 100. Hand off to Green. Green's going to get sandwiched in the backfield. Connor Polk and Jack. I tell you what, Cam, we have called Connor Pope's name out a lot yeah. for being in that backfield. Green going to come off. He looks a little gingerly. Of course, Jack Welch is the younger brother of Morgan Welch that played basketball at Loretta. I didn't know that. Yep. Well then, I, then I know right now he's mean. Well, I, uh, uh, yeah, I think you, I think you you're accurate on that. Anakin Johnson on the end around, he's going to get sandwiched up. That's Tucker, and I believe that's Ian Pope. Brown, no, yeah, that's no, Ian that's Brown. Ian Brown on that one. So after a big first down play and then a delay of game, Summertown has lost two yards, and it's third and twelve now. Look for Schaefer to throw it here. That's Yeah, Morgan Morgan was my buddy now. She she used to – some of those games that I did covered for you and Brad, you know, when I'd go right. do them and, and uh, David would bail on me after the first – after the girls game. Yeah. Uh, I would get Morgan <laughs> to do the second half with me, and she was, she, she was my buddy now. All right, pass out to Bryant. Bryant's got it, and he's got the first down. Oh, takes, out the, takes out the line, Judge, on the way. <laughs> But I believe he's going to have the first down. Yeah, the, the side judge is telling them to come on, so he does pick up the first down. That's a big first down. Loretto would have liked to have had that stop there for sure. All right, so first and ten. Ball on the 48 of Loretta now as Summertown has crossed midfield. Schaefer's got... Edmondson to his right, Johnson to his left, and he's under center. Handoff to Edmondson. No, no, Shaver's going to keep it. Fakes the handoff, then powers ahead for about 20 yards for another first down on first down. That's such an effective play when he does that. It, it fools everybody. All right, Schaefer, same setup. Edmondson to his right, Johnson to his left. Hands it to Edmondson this time, and he's got those wheels moving. He's busting. Breaks two tackles. Kill still moving. It gets down to about the 10. Another first down. Yeah, Loretto just got stuck on their heels that time. He couldn't, couldn't contain it. All right, quick play. Schaefer going to keep it. I don't think he's going to get anywhere. He's sandwiched no. in the backfield for a loss. You ever saw the movie The Water Boy? The girlfriend? I have. Yeah. I've seen her tonight, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so second down and 10. We'll do it again. Seven minutes to go here in the third. Summertown knocking on the door. Summertown's going to have to hurry up and get the ball in. Ten seconds already on the play clock. Yeah, they're going to have to, going to, have to get a little bit hurry now. Sure don't want to back up at the ten. No. Nope. Schaefer, the center, he's got a man in motion. He's going to hand off. No, he's going to keep it. Probably should have handed off two items at that time, but Schaefer's making something out of nothing. Punching toward the end zone. He's still on his feet, and wow. he gets in. That right there was a shifty move by a quarterback. He did about three jukes to his left and was able to def- – 
to get away from the Loretta defenders, and Summertown's going to take a two-score lead here in, midway through the third quarter. That's, I mean, I, I, I kind of called him out. I thought he should have handed that ball off to Edmonds, and I thought that gap was there, but Schaefer kept it. Looked like he was sandwiched and then just drug about four people with him into the end zone. So they're going to try the extra point. That'll bring on Williams. He was good on the first try. Snaps good. Holds good. Kick blocked. blocked. They're yes. going to whistle it dead. Connor Pope right there again. Connor Pope all over the place. But Summertown leads 13 to nothing. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Summertown Loretta and the Pegasus Cup on the Exports Network. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gain Street next to the courthouse. Welcome back to Summertown, where Summertown leads Loretta 13 and nothing, but still a lot of time left, a lot of football to be played. How many times have we seen, in the, not just in this game, but in other games where a, a missed extra point comes back and bites you? To be you? huge. It's huge, yeah. It, can't, it could be. Potentially. So William kicks the squibber, and it goes down toward Tucker, and Tucker's filled it clean this time. He's on the run up the sideline, and he's got some room. Goes across about the 40, and that's where he's taken down. So, Loretta will start in good field position. They've had good field position and been able to move the football, but, they, you know, at some point, every drive, they've gotten stuck. And, you know, when you were without your number one player, I mean, let's, I mean, uh, they, there's a lot of playmakers on this team, but the biggest playmaker is on the sidelines hurt. I mean, they need – Caden Porter, and, and if he's not able to go, I mean, it, yeah, it that looks, puts them at a major disadvantage. Looks like the I formation with Kulisek and Tucker, the fullback and running back, sweep out to Tucker. He cuts it back up the middle. He's got some running room. He's going to get a gain of about eight yeah, as he goes good down. Run. Good first down run on the legs of Tucker. And he's an emotional kid. He's a kid that plays his heart and soul out. So, I mean, he's going to play w above and beyond what he's, ca you know, capable of at times just because he's, he's that emotional type player. And, and you got to love the game if absolutely. you play as many spots as he plays. We've called him out for kicking. We've called him out for receiving. We've <laughs> called him out for punt, returning. Punt, punt returns <laughs> and kick returns. and Tackles on as a linebacker. Yeah, he, he does Kids everywhere. Hand up on the straight to the fullback. That is Kolasek. And I think he's going to power ahead enough for the first. Yeah, I think he's going to have it. That should move the chains. And Loretta already across midfield. And they've been here almost every drive. I think there's only been one drive where they hadn't gotten into Summertown territory. Just, one time they had a penalty at back yeah. and back, back across, and they wasn't able to to go back. But at the same time, I mean, you've been there. I mean, you've you've had positive field position and. So far, just hadn't been able to take advantage of it. So I formation again for Daniel. That's false that's start, false on start on Loretta. They'll back him up five and yep. do it again from on first so down. So there you go, back across the other side of the field. And so you're back in in your own end. I mean, that was that was on the running back there. And that, that's part of not having Porter on the field. It's just some of those snap counts. You just he jumped a little early, trying to hit the hole before. I mean, that, that, that's the eagerness. All right, so same formation that I bet. You got Kolasek to four, fullback. Tucker right behind him. Back to throw. He's got a man, and it's open. It's caught. He's Welch. caught it, and he's cutting it back up the sideline. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds at about the 35, 36. It's going to be a first down, though. 
But good play, good pass and catch from Daniel to Welch. We saw that play last week work a lot. That, that play is what set up uh, essentially the touchdown that was the – We're backing up again. What have we missed, Cam? Uh, there must be some – an eligible receiver downfield. Yeah. It's on Loretto. Man, they cannot catch a break. So that usually means one of the linemen got too far down the field or had a guy covered up, lined up wrong. I mean, it could have been anything. I didn't see it, but. So instead of, let's see, that won't that that shouldn't be right either. Should, yeah, I guess it is first down and 20 because they lost five on the first yeah. one. That backs up five more. So first and 20 for Loretta, trying to get it back again. Back is Daniel. He's got room to r throw. Fires one across, and that's to Sermones. They're going to say it was incomplete. Yeah, they, I guess he was out of bounds. Uh, it's on the opposite end. Now, now, now we've got a flag. That's going to be on the on Sermones or on the sideline. Somebody said something. It, it was one of the players on the sidelines. I'm a, I, I, I have a feeling. They said something that uh, probably in regards to it being a incomplete pass because he was right there on the sidelines. Unsportsmanlike is the call. And it's on the Mustangs. And it's going to be first down and here to a mile. Etheridge. <laughs> My goodness. First and 35. Had some things going. Three consecutive <laughs> yeah. plays. Wow. Get across midfield, and the next thing you know, you've backed it up 35 yards, Cam. All right. So, Daniel, he's in the shotgun. Going to hand it off up the middle. That's Kulisek. The, that's Kulisek, and he's, he's got the penalty yards back. Now we're that's, probably going to get a horse collar uh, tackle. It was awful close, but. But I don't see one. No. And again, that, you know, we saw Loretta. We thought there was going to be one caught on them earlier. It wasn't caught. And I think that time he just wrapped him up by the neck. I mean, he didn't grab inside the inside the pad. So that was a big run. That gets, that gets them back to that, second that, and manageable. That got more than half the penalty yards back. Going to be about second down and 13, I think. Well, the board across the way says third. That's not right. It should be second and 12. He needs to flip that around. I don't know that it's not third down. He's, he's counting the play on the pass play yeah. that, got, that got brought back. All right, back to throw is well, that Daniel. Might, he, he, he may be right. It. field. Tossing it long. Got a man. It's, it's caught. caught. What a catch by <laughs> That's number two, <laughs> yeah. Case Tucker. Yeah. Uh, so it would have been third down because it would have been a loss of play at, even after the play. So he's right. That would have been second down. But that or, doesn't matter now. No, it doesn't matter. That was a huge play right in the bread basket of Case Tucker. <laughs> I tell you what, great job by Carter Daniel, too. Flared out to his right, nothing there. Totally reverse field on a spin move. Came back, fired it across his body. And if you're throwing it up to Case Tucker, you got to like your odds. Ball comes out, I think. Let's see. Uh, no, it did not. Nah, so Kulisek held on to it. The way he kind of got hit and the way he was going down, it looked like the ball may have come out. But uh, four minutes to play here in the third, 13 nothing. Summertown out in front. I'll tell you what, this could be the drive that Loretta gets a spark going because you look dead to rights. Uh, 35 yards in penalties, and next thing you know, two plays, and you've picked up a first. Throw toward the end zone. That pass is incomplete. He was going to be short anyways, but great effort by Case Tucker diving. Couldn't come up with it. But that'll bring it third down and eight. Definitely two down, four down territory, sure. Cam. So you don't have to get eight yards if you are Loretta. Well, here's the here's the thing. You've got a kicker in Simbeck who's capable of hitting from this distance. Um, maybe not quite. Four, you know, 42 or whatever it would be. Well, it would it would only be about 40. He can do it. And right. We've seen him do it, but uh, you want the touchdown. There's no doubt. All right. Daniel rolls out to his right, fires across. Pass is going to be incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth and eight. Got to fully expect Loretta's going to be going here. Yeah, I, I do think they will. I mean, there's really not any point unless you just want to try for three points, but I don't think you do. I think you've 
went down this far. If you don't get it, that's just as good or better than a punt. Well, it's, too, it's still even if you kick the field goal, it's still two scores. You know, you don't. All right, so fourth and eight. Been a long drive. Loretta's had the football a long time. Ball's on the 24. Daniel, drop back to throw. He's got a ton of time to do it. Looking, looking, fires toward the end zone. Ball's deflected, incomplete. He was trying to hit Case Tucker, but a swarm of Summertown defenders around bats it down. Yeah, that'll turn it over on downs back to Summertown with 3.30 to go here in the third quarter. Now, Case Tucker's not the tallest receiver. He is a playmaker with the ball in his hand. We, we've seen that. But he's not the tallest guy, and you had three defensive backs there around him. There was really nobody open. That was He had so much time, but he, there was just nobody open. That was a coverage play by Summertown. And, and, and at that point, you know, if it's picked off, it's, it's so be it. I mean, you're going for the end zone, and hopefully – your guy can come down with it and just didn't happen. First down play, Schaefer hands off to Edmondson. Edmondson. Ball is, may have come out. I think the ball's out. Summertown's yeah. saying they held on to it, but there is. Edmondson goes down. Let's see. Loretta's, Loretta's saying, saying they Loretta's got saying it. saying they got it. Summertown's saying they got it. There's a dog pile down there, so we'll just have to wait and see. If it is, it's huge. Loretta football. Loretta does have it. It's Loretta football. Wow, what a turn of events. All right. And Connor Pope. Comes out of the pile. I believe that's Connor Pope going to come out. It is Connor. Man, he has had himself a night for the sophomore. He come out holding the football. Edmondson, the senior running back, turning it over there. Looks like he's hurt, too. He's going to come off. It's like Caden Porter may be back on the field here. So, just like that. Nope, that's Colasek. Loretta's got it back. Colasek with it. He's punching toward the left hash, and let's see. He's going to pick up a gain of about five or six. Yeah. I mean, Colasek's a big boy. He, he can he gets up a little gingerly, too. Yeah. I mean, this is a game. Look, looking at that kid, it looked like it'd be like trying to tackle a Coke machine. <laughs> He's, he is a strong kid, no doubt. So, big momentum boost if you're low Loretta. You Turn it over on downs, but on the very first play, Summertown turns it right back over to you on the fumble by Edmondson. So you are in scoring range again. Second and four here. Hand off. That's Tucker. Trying to get around the edge, and he can't. He's tackled down. Good open field tackle there by number three, Cason Bailey. Yeah, Bailey did a great job getting the backfield and cutting that down before he could turn it back upfield. That's an excellent defensive play. And now it's third and eight on the 24 of Summertown. 13 nothing. Summertown leads 220 and still rolling on the clock, remaining in the third. Shout out to Loretta Behead basketball men's coach Greg Tip said he thought Peyton and Eli, Eli were great on Monday Night Football, but he, he thinks me and you's even better, yeah, Cam. I don't know about that. And I know how hard he is, please. <laughs> Back to throw. That's Daniel. He's got time now. He's going to tuck it and run. Breaks a couple of tackles. Now he's going to go down, pick up some yardage where it'll make it fourth and manageable. Yeah. And you got to you got to think Loretta's got to be going for it here. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't see the kicker coming on. So yeah, they're going to go for it. And if you went for it fourth and eight, you got to go for it fourth and three. Well, there you are definitely in field goal range at the twenty or twenty one. But I. I, I'm with you. I, I'm still going for it, regardless. I, I, you got to get a touchdown here. You got to get some momentum. All right. So Daniel in the shotgun, and he's got Tucker right beside him. He's going to roll out to the left. Drops back. Now he's off. rolling back to he the needs right. To run it. He needs to run it. He's going to turn it loose and throw it. Ball's overthrown, incomplete. So Loretta's going to turn it over again on down. I. He had room. He, he, I'm, I don't know that he could see the field as yeah, good as we could sure, up here on sure. our perch, but I believe he picks up at least the first if he get, heads toward that pylon or right. that sideline over there. And Carter can run. He's got he's got some good legs and got got some good wheels. And uh, I don't know what he's been instructed, what he can and can't do. But it, like you said, we can see it probably better than he can. From and up he here. did have a man just a little bit overthrown, and uh, 
just that close, but Loretta will turn it over on downs again. Summertown going to try to keep the ball for more than one handoff this yeah. series. <laughs> 106 to play in the third, still 13-0. Because, you know, uh, the few kids on Summertown that play uh, both ways, they are really uh, needing a break here. Yeah, you're right. Hand off to Brian on the end around. He's cutting it back up the middle, and he Balls loses out. the football. He goes right to Summertown that time. Had a, a caught a break there. That's just a little bit of inexperience on Brian's part. Brian's had some big plays, had some big touchdowns. Actually pretty much won the game against Richland, but uh, that's just youth and inexperience. When you're cutting it back up the middle, you better have two hands on that ball. Yeah. And he didn't, and it just got stripped out. It's Lawrence County with three minutes to go in the third quarter. They are trailing to Marshall County 21 to 12. All right, second down and 10. Schaefer under center. Going to keep it. Going to run around. He's got some room. He's, He's going to have the first day. and then some. Tries to fake out a defender. Now he goes down at midfield. Nice fake handoff by Schaefer. Nice first down run. That'll get the crowd fired back up. Summertown. Faithful was a little dead there for a minute. Even Bobby Boucher's girlfriend. Nah, she's she's she's, she, she's the only one that hadn't yeah. got hadn't calmed down any. You know what? Let me see if she wants to come on and be our guest next Pegasus Cup. Yeah, I mean, at least we get some high quality H two O. All right, so that'll bring the end of the third. We'll be back in a couple of minutes you're listening to summertown and loretta and the pegasus cup on the exports network make 2021 the year you refresh your home and who are you gonna call to help story and lee the tennessee valley's most dynamic furniture store featuring our made in america galleries with solid wood dining and bedrooms leather furniture mattresses and so much more you want it we've got it with our three acres of showroom and our huge warehouse we're sure to have exactly what you want and it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free just try that anywhere else we are story and lee Hey friends, this is Barry Doss. Over the past 30 years, Doss Brothers Incorporated has grown from its humble beginnings to working daily to build the future of Lawrence and surrounding counties. From breaking ground to opening day, Doss Brothers has been there every step of the way for many businesses, industries, and homeowners in our community. With nearly 40 years under our belt and the blessing of every new day, we strive to keep building the foundation of our communities tomorrow. We are Doss Brothers, proudly building progress in Southern Tennessee. This is the X Sports Network. All right, welcome back to the Pegasus Cup as we start the fourth quarter. Summertown leads 13 to nothing, and they have the ball. First down and 10 from the 50. Schaefer back to throw. Throws a quick strike across the middle to Bryant. Bryant picks up a first down, down to about the 38. Gain of 12. Bryant did a lot better job that time. Once he knew he was going tackled, he had two hands on it. He had a nice spin move there, too, to break free. Bryant, Bryant's kind of limping over here. Let's see. I don't know if he got wrapped up and shook up a little bit. but uh, No, I thought he was coming off. He, just, he was just limping over here to his spot. Look for the strict quick strike to Bryant over here. He's got a blocker out in front of him, Robertson. Yeah, it looks like I set up a wide receiver screen or something, but they're not going the other way. Not nope, going to hand off to Johnson up the middle. That's Anakin Johnson. He powers ahead for a gain of about seven. That's a good first down run. Now Brian is going to come off. He's hurting. Yeah. Loretto needs a stop. And, and again, I, you go back, and, you know, it's just they've been so close once they've had the football. And it, you know, this Summertown's just executed just a little bit better when they've had the ball. On the and, and, and enemy again, side of the field. It's just a two-score game, and anything can sure. happen. Loretta is nowhere near out of this game. Uh, but basically, I, they've got to know that they have kicked themselves in the foot offensively. Right. The last time this game was here, I went down to present the Pegasus Cup. Schaefer back to throw, and he's got a deep and gets a hand on it. It's going to be can't pass interference it. or holding uh, on defense, I do believe. So let's see. We do have a flag. I, I totally missed that, Cam. I think it's going to be on Welch. I think he kind of held him up just a little bit more than 
Let's see, though. Summertown says it is against Loretta. Holding. Yeah, it's on well. He just got a little too much on him. But, you know, it, it should be a spot foul. Is it a spot foul in high school? Well, I think that is right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that'll make it first and 10 from about the 21. Schaefer, behind center. He's got Johnson to his right, Green to his left. Hands off to Green. He's powering ahead. He's going to get some positive first down yards. I think it's actually 10 yards from where it occurred, so that's why it moved up more than 10 from the line of scrimmage. But regardless – uh, you know, you feel like if Summertown goes up three scores here, it, it, it's just it's a it's a hard road to hoe for Loretto. And you know, I remember, like I said, last time we were here, I went down to present the cup, and I walked from both sideline to both sideline about six times because right. the game kept going back Never and forth. Who, didn't yeah. know who was going to win. Yeah, you didn't, and it was just it was one of those. But all right, Schaefer is under center. Hands off to Green again. Green trying to cut it outside. It's a great tackle That's there. a great tackle by number 40, Skyler Ratliff. He doesn't let anything develop on that one. That'll make it third and four. Edmondson is coming back in now. I think this is the first time he's been in on offense since that fumble. Well, he got sh- shaken up uh, a little bit before that, if you remember right. Oh, yeah. And I, he's got something. His calf's wrapped up, is it not? I believe so. So, I uh, so that's interesting. I, I don't know if it's a strained calf or something, but it, uh, he's got – I don't know if it's a compression sleeve or – he's got something on, on that right calf. All right. So, play clock's down to five. Somebody's going to have to take a timeout here. They're fixing the – He's going to get it off in time. No, well, I think Summertown saw it, and they're going to take a timeout, and they will. would like to let everybody know uh, we're going to – talking about some other sports from this rivalry – I uh, want to give a big shout-out to the Summertown men and women's golf team. Cam, as you know, Summertown Lady Eagles are trying to win their fourth unbelievable. straight state well, they're going, champ- I, team I, I state mean, championship. Let's be honest. They're going to win it. Summertown boys <laughs> are going for the second straight year yeah. in a row and, and fully expect to be in contention for it. But uh, the TSSAA kind of threw a curveball at uh, the golf teams this year. Uh, Instead of it being around the Murfreesboro area, it's going to be in Gatlinburg. Well, listen, I'm hard on the TSSAA for obvious reasons. I mean, anybody that follows high school sports realizes how that some of the things they do are head scratchers. And this is probably the biggest of them all. I went and played that course, the Highlands course. There's two courses at the Country Club of Pigeon Forge. Right. Uh, you've got the river course and the Highlands course. The boys are on the river course, which is flatter. There's more water, but it's flatter. And, and the girls are playing the Highlands, which to its name is the Highland. Literally, yep. it's hard for a golf cart to get up some of these hills. I can't imagine walking this. I, it makes zero sense. I, I, you know, it's if, six if you, hours away. If you can remember what I am, from hole to hole on certain ones, I mean, you're – it's a you're, long you're ways. Five five hundred yards. Oh, it, it, the turn doesn't. There's a flag. Loretta jumped. I don't know if it was drawn offside or not. But I think after talking to John and Stacy Campbell, I think there are going to be several holes that they're going to let them cart kids. They're going to have to. But with that being said, if you uh, that's a first if down you, for Summertown. If anybody listening, any businesses, I, I know, I know. If you have a business like me or Kim, you sometimes get tired of people hitting you up for sponsorship. Yeah. But if there's any way you would want to help, because that's looking at. Two golf teams that you're going to have to go spend the night in Gatlinburg yeah. three nights in a row, and that ain't cheap. Schaefer on the keeper, bunching it toward the sideline. He's trying to turn it in the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown, Colton Schaefer. That'll put Summertown up three scores with nine minutes to play here in the contest. He's having himself a good birthday today, isn't he? I'll tell you what, you live, when you get done, whether you go to the next level or you're not, you're going to remember these rivalry games. Sure. and. I think the kid's going to always have a good memory of the last time he played Loretta in football. Yeah. Well, as of now. As of now. I mean, yeah. I mean, anything can happen for sure. And they're going to, Summertown's going to go for two, I, I, I would assume here. Well, I'm probably not overthinking this. I'm getting me, I'm getting me Edmondson a, a lead blocker for Schaefer, and let's go. Well, yeah. If he's 100%, that's what they're going to do. Pitch out to Edmondson. He's trying to cut it, and he's not going to get it. No. 
It's still doesn't hurt them, though, Nick. Or um, Clint. Sorry. Uh, it, it's still a three-score game. Sure, yeah. It's it, it's it's a big lead. Eight, Edmondson goes down, and he hasn't gotten up over there. But we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in one minute. You're listening to the Pegasus Cup on the Exports Network. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available on the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn $0.05 cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air, when you need us, we'll be there. It's time for some straight talk about zero-turn mowers. Husqvarna zero-turn performance mowers with rugged commercial drive give you high performance and a comfortable ride. Heavy-duty frame and chassis and commercial hydraulics take no punishment. With warranties now up to five years and low financing options, there's no competition. For a straight-up deal on the best in professional zero-turn mowers, go straight to your Husqvarna dealer. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union. Not for profit. For service. This is the X Sports Network. All right, welcome back to Summertown, where Javen Edmondson looks like he's walking back across the field. A little help, but uh, looks like he's going to be okay. Summertown fails on the two-point conversion, but they still lead 19 to nothing with nine minutes to go here in the contest. They'll be kicking off to Loretta. It's not the fair they're having uh, the flat track motorcycles, and if we can find an airboat, we might get there pretty quick after this game wraps That's right. up. I know where I think I know where we can find one. Uh, Cam, I think you read this out, but just in case you didn't, the end of third, uh, LCHS does trail to Marshall County 27-12. to 12. I did not read that last up. I got you. No, I did not. All right. So, Loretta trying to get something going here with nine minutes. Summertown trying to keep that from happening as they have a three-score lead. I did want to see that flat track. Tonight, I'm, I'm anxious to see how that – I hope that somebody takes some videos. Right. I, I want to see how that worked out. All right. Williams back to kick. Kicks a little squibber. Not an onside kick, but it goes – and let's see, that's number 15, Chase Hooper. For Loretta falls down on it about the 40. Yeah, Hooper has played wide receiver a lot. He's got good hands, so uh, he was in good position there. I think he's just a 
sophomore or junior. I can't remember. That's Phil Hooper's son. Phil Hooper, of course, is our apparel provider. Big time sponsor and provider for us. And uh, if you haven't had. Just a good dude. Just an all around good dude. If you like really good fitting ball caps or need anything made for you, he is your guy. Handoff. That's Kolasic. He's wrapped up in the backfield. Summertown trying to strip the ball before the whistle goes down, but I believe Kolasic did a really good job of holding on to that. Of course, Summertown comes up with it, but it was after the play. Yeah, there's a, that was a late whistle. They sh- should have been blown should have, should have been stopped yeah. about three seconds yeah. earlier. Yeah. I got this hat on I'm wearing now. He made these for us at the shop, and I tell you what, man, these that's the best wearing hat I own. All right. So, Daniel in the shotgun. At Kolasic as a blocker for him. Now he's going to turn one loose. Goes off the hands of Welch. Just It'll go incomplete. Just, stopping the clock at 822. Just aired it out just a little too much. Was, I mean, he had an open receiver, and it was a it was a strongly thrown ball. It just sailed on him just a little bit. This is a young Loretta football team for the most part. Uh, and I know, you know, you're at smaller schools like this. You go through, you know, I wouldn't say rebuilds, but you, you end up having to play a lot of younger kids, and especially when you get a new coach in. All right, Daniel, on the rollout. He's got a man. That's Wells. He might have been hit before that ball got yeah, to was, him by Robinson. It was very bang, bang. Yeah. If I'm if I got a flag from over here this far away, I'm throwing it. But uh, I don't see any. They're just going to call it an incomplete pass. Being over here swatting at a, a moth like it's a like it's a Japanese wasp or something. Have you heard the moth joke? No. By Norm McDonald. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Well the light, the, the, the light was on. The light was on. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's the. Mo- oh my God! God rest his soul, man. <laughs> That guy had some – him and Conan O'Brien, look up those videos. Something else. All right, fourth and nine. Loretta needing to do something here. Daniel rolling out and he's in trouble. Going to let one go. It's going to be incomplete to Welch. Nice job by Robinson coming in there. I think you got a hand on it, just deflected it enough. And they'll turn it over on downs back to Summertown. I watched the clip you're talking about, and my favorite part of that, it takes so long to tell that joke when Andy Richter says, that's like taking me out to the woods for a five-mile hike just to show me a dog turd. (laughs) (laughs) That was actually when he was telling the joke about there was another one he was telling. That wasn't the moth joke. Oh, okay. There's another one. It was the same convoluted joke. Yeah, right. In the same vein. Um, But, yeah, Conan said, don't encourage that. You know, it's (laughs) – But the moth Uh, joke is. All right, eight minutes to go in the contest. Summertown leads 19 to nothing. They've got the ball across midfield. Hands off up the middle to Lane Green, and he's wrapped up. Connor Pope or Ian Brown. Let's see. I believe that is Brown. That's 55. That's Brown. Brown. Going to give him some forward progress to about the 41. That'll make it second down and eight. I'd say Summertown's probably going to be real vanilla right here the rest of this. Sure. Time I mean, they've got the football on, make sure clock's running and secure the football. It's under eight minutes to play in the game, 7.34, 19 nothing. Yeah. You, and as I say that, watch this play action bomb shake right. about to throw. Going to let the play clock run down. It's under eight. Now it's going to throw it out to Bryant. Bryant's got it. He's cut it up the sideline. He's got some running room. Now he's going to go out of bounds. At about the 15 is Ty Bryant. First and 10 for Summertown. Just a wide receiver screen, and there was nobody over there for Loretta to get out and make a tackle. You know, I really thought after last week's game that Loretta would come into this with a lot of momentum. And, uh, but this is a just its a really good Summertown team. They, they, they well, have, there's two things to that. You went and got tested and had a war against a really good Lewis County team. On a short team. week. Summertown didn't play last week. That's true. I, I mean, that's a very good point. I mean, I, I, I know the coaches won't make that excuse, and, and they'll say, no, we just got beat. But, and the third but thing, you're right. Case to, uh, Caden the, Porter, Caden going Porter out went down a, in the first quarter. That's huge. It, 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 and that, that is a big – Big difference. I mean, but at the same time, you can't say that's – you can't – I mean, Summertown's done what they're excuse. supposed to do to win this exactly, football game. That's exactly right. All right. 
So clock is under seven minutes, second down and eight. Ball is on the 18. Green in the backfield along with Anakin Johnson. Schaefer under center. Schaefer going to keep it. Putting a juke move on. He's just going to slide down, keep the clock rolling, staying in bounds. Gain of about two, maybe three. That'll make it third and four, third and five. Clock's your friend if you're Summertown. If Loretta, you need a turnover and then some. Let's see. I think Edmondson's night's probably done, and he's had a good game tonight. Just uh, nagging leg injury, I believe. That's uh, yeah. no, no point in having him in right nope, now. None at all. Schaefer. Well, screen out pass to Bryant. Bryant. Hesitates just enough where he's not going to get anywhere. Case Tucker there for Loretto. I believe we're actually going to get a loss on that. It's fourth down, 33-12 is the score. Marshall County over Lawrence County. Fourth quarter, seven minutes remaining. So let's see what Summertown likes to do here. I don't. I don't think. I think it's out of, definitely out of field goal range for Summertown's kicker. It's also fourth and eight. I probably, I, they're probably just going to go for it. And if they turn yeah, it over sure. on downs, so be it. Turn it over on downs. Yeah. I mean, Loretta's, you know, they're they're backed into a corner, no doubt. I mean, big shout out to Mr. Daryl Ralston across the way in the Loretta marching band. I can hear Rocky Top pretty good. Is that coming from them? It is. You sure? All right, maybe maybe it's not. Maybe somebody's got that on a speaker. I think that's on a speaker. Because that sounded just like the Pride of Southland band. I thought, man, Boss yeah. has done a great job. <laughs> yeah. Wow, he, he's added a, a couple more hundred kids over there or something. Yeah, it's, I, you know, the first year we came to this field, uh, we got a timeout on the field, but uh, the first time we came here, the the bleachers across the way from us uh, on the visit where the visitors are now. That used to be the Summertown side, correct? No, no, no. The first couple of times you came here, there was no bleachers on no, that I side. No, I was saying there were no bleachers, but the Summertown well, sideline. Well, that's was where over. all that's where all the pickup trucks were. Right. <laughs> With the, but you had the pickup trucks backed up, sitting on your tailgate watching. I thought that no, was I, awesome. No, actually, that was still the visitor, and you okay. just had to bring your own chair. Okay, that was still. The, well, I'm saying is, was Summertown's team over there? No. Okay, they've no. always been right yep. here. Okay. Summertown's always been on this side. So, but regardless, I mean, I thought that was the coolest thing. You had your pickup truck backed up. I mean, the, the fence, I don't think, were, was even here. No, no, no. Scoreboard, what? Yeah. I think might have been. There was a scoreboard, but it wasn't that one. It okay. was a little bitty okay. one. Okay. But regardless, I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. And I hate to see that that's went away. But it's 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 much nicer facility, obviously, now than it was. Fourth and eight. Shaver back to throw. And he's got Robertson. Robinson's going to turn it up. Let's see if he got the first down. And I think he does. Yeah. First down for Summertown, and that'll keep this drive alive going. Under five minutes to go. This clock will stop them long enough to move the chains. It'll be first and goal. And Cam, I guess when this thing gets down to about two minute mark, I'm going to just turn it over to you and Ben. Yep, yep. you've got a presentation to do, and Yeah, I, I, I'm. Uh, Let's see if we can get her going the road with us in basketball. Man, that would be a trip. That's fun. All right, Schaefer under center. We're going to get a flag delay a game. Not the worst penalty. Timeout. Oh, timeout. Now, we're going to get time. to take the timeout before we can get the penalty, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Four nineteen remains. Nineteen nothing. Summertown leads. Let's go over the schedule here. Looks like for Loretta, if they lose this contest, that will put them at two and five. That makes the playoff picture a little tough. They go to Moore County uh, next weekend, then uh, host Cascade and Richland. I think those are two games you can probably, if you got all your pieces back together, I think those are two home games that you would feel confident in, but. Uh, for that playoff picture, I think Loretta looking probably need yeah, to win about it. three in a row. Well, it, 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 well, Moore County's not a not a region game, so I think their playoff hopes 
was riding on this game. Oh, okay. So I, I think it's because they lost to Mount Pleasant and Forest. Uh, so even if – is there five or – how many teams are in our region? Because I, I, it changed this year and I've lost count. Five. There's five, so there's four get in. So, yeah, I mean – Six, excuse me, six. six. So technically, yeah, if you win those – if you win over Cascade, barring if they hadn't had any other region wins, Cascade and uh, – and Richland, I mean, you right. have a shot. I don't know their schedule. I, I apologize for that. I should know that. Schaefer hands off to Green, working on the end around. Green's going to go down, but he's going to stay in bounds. Let's keep it around the 10. Clock's ticking now. Summertown with no timeouts left. Loretta with all three. Probably pick up the Summertown cheerleaders on your on our headsets here. Good job by those young ladies. So Cascade beats Richland. Actually, Cascade is undefeated. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, Loretta needed this game to even have a shot. Handoff up the middle to Green. He's going to go down. No game. That'll bring it third down and at about 10. Lane Green up the middle. Richland does not have a region win like Loretto, and they are two and three. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I, I, Loretto needed this game uh, to make the playoffs. That's three region losses after tonight. There's just, just mathematically, I think, impossible. Fumble, but Green picks it up on the shovel pass from – Schaefer goes down on it, keeps, good, the, keeps the possession. Good to see Tobias helping him up, the good, good sportsmanship. We've seen that a lot tonight. And, you know, it's, a, it's it, you know we've seen these, not necessarily the football game, but the other sports seem to get a little more chippy and physical. I agree, especially basketball. <laughs> My God. Yeah, that's – I don't know that there's a I, – I, there probably is. But there is – I know for a fact Loretto does not have – a more heated rival than Summertown when it comes to basketball. I know Summertown Perry County was a thing uh, back not in a, the day, but it, not it, anymore. It's Summertown, Lowry, especially, yeah. especially because those two stay, both moved to AA and are still in the same. So that, that rivalry is not going anywhere. I, I, I'm anxious to see what AA does this year. Schaefer throws it into triple coverage, trying to hit Bryant. It's not there. Summertown's going to turn it over on downs. With two minutes to go, we're going to take a 30-second break and uh, get us a sponsor in. And when we come back, look, going last two minutes of this contest, you're listening to the Exports Network. Hi, folks. This is Josh from Stryker Steakhouse in Lawrenceburg. Come check us out for lunch or dinner seven days a week and try one of our daily lunch specials, awesome burgers, or one of our mouth-watering hand-cut steaks. Come see us or call it in and let us help keep your kitchen clean. And don't forget, we cater too. That Stryker Steakhouse, located next door to Kingpin Lanes, Massey Avenue and Cruise Street in Lawrenceburg. Let our family feed your family at Stryker Steakhouse. This is the X Sports Network. All right, we're back. Welcome back into Summertown High School. I'm Cam Ashburn. Ben Luna on the headset now. Clint's going down for the Pegasus Cup presentation. And it looks like Summertown's going to take that one back from Loretto as Carter Daniel will roll out of the pocket. Two minutes on the clock. Throws it downfield, looking for Simone's, and it short hopped him. And there is a flag on the play. So let's see what that laundry is about. It was after the play, so you have to think it's a dead ball foul. It's against the Mustangs. Loretta's had a really hard time catching a break tonight. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's, it is, it, you know, and I, I hate it for them because I know they had a lot of momentum coming into this game after last week because that was a game they, you know, they could have won. And it, tonight just has not went their way. Lost your best player early. And, uh, you know, it's just it's just been it's kind of been an ugly game for them. And I know they're, they're going to be disappointed for sure. But, uh, you know, it is still a young football team. And, uh, you know, there's a bigger picture sometimes. I know there's seniors on this team that, you know, there's no bigger picture than them. This is, this is everything they're playing for. So, you, you always hate that. But, um, 
We've got a score update from Marshall. Marshall County just keeps scoring. It's 41-12, <laughs> to 12 and I, th I think well, we can write that one off yeah. for the night. And dropping back now, Daniel's going to take off running. He's going to be get the first down. He's at the 25, cuts it to the 30, still on his feet, finally goes out of bounds around the 34-yard line. So, a nice pickup by Carter Daniel. But it's a little bit too late as the clock hits 143 to play in this one, and it continues to move. Loretta's still with all three timeouts. Summertown has exhausted yeah. all of theirs. Yeah, Loretta, there's no reason. I mean, I don't foresee Loretta taking it. I mean, you're, you're down three scores. That ball's bobbled and dropped. Uh, pass was on the money and just couldn't. Couldn't corral it in. I think that was intended for Case Tucker. But, yeah, it's just one of those nights. I mean, it happens. That's just uh, – well, it's been this close so many times this year and ultimately, um, you know, just had a little bit of a letdown tonight. Well, Loretta, you know, for, for a powerhouse Lewis County team last week, you know, came into that contest. They played really good football. Yep. They brought it all the way down to the fourth and, and you know, the last minute – really and just played excellent excellent football sure. last week and you you have to wonder as daniel's going to throw it for simone simone's makes the catch he's still on his feet past midfield down to the 40 of summertown and that will move the chain so loretta moving the ball now but it's 118 remaining you know and there's a loretta has a bright future they got they got a good coach they've got they've got Things headed, trended in the right direction. It's, uh, you know, you won this game a year ago and airing it out for Simone's again. and gets a hand on it, but he was in double coverage. Not going to bring that one down. That was a good throw regardless, and it was a 50-50 jump ball and just couldn't come down with it was Tobias, who's about 6'7". That it's stops the, the clock tallest, at one minute. <laughs> the tallest player on the field. No, no, right no question. I mean, Colton Schaefer's up there. I don't think he's quite – Got what uh, what Tobias has, but uh, you know, got an injury timeout. A couple of different players down. I don't know if it's cramps and it's just hot. You, you always in, in, and Clint brought up a good point. You know, Summertown had, didn't play last week. Loretta was in a dog fight. Um, it's a short week. You know, this game being on Thursday night, it's fair week. I mean, fall breaks, fall breaks yeah, around tomorrow. the corner. I mean, this in college football we call this a trap game, it, it, but. That's usually because there's a big game the following week that you're looking ahead to. So, but in a lot of ways, this was a, 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 a kind of a trap game for Loretto in the sense that Summertown was going to be fresh. It's fair week. We all know kids and where their heads at fair week. Uh, we know where our heads are at fair yeah. week sometimes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just a lot going on. But Summertown, to their credit, none of, you know, they came in, they had a game plan, they were ready, and they had two weeks to prepare, and even though it is fair week, it didn't affect them at all. I mean, they come in, and with a minute to go, they're leading 19 nothing. They were ready for this contest. Absolutely. It's on their home field, and they lost the game a year ago. Uh, so, I mean, they had a lot to play for. Summertown players limping off the field. Second and 10 for Loretto. Daniel drops back. He's going to put some air under that one, and, and I don't think him and Welch were on the same page as Welch was running a post route and Carter throwing it out to the sidelines. 54 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Loretto at Summertown for the Pegasus Cup game. I think this is the sixth annual that we've done. Seventh. This is Seventh. the set. Wow. Well, um, yeah, this is uh, since Summertown's had a football team, the first game was at Loretto. And then Summertown had it here, and it, we broadcast the first game it was ever played on this field. And that, that was the pickup truck game, you know. And it, so cool. But they've every year made additions to this field. And a beautiful field they've got, beautiful yep. stadium. And there's a flag, flag on the play, but Carter Daniel running with it. He dodges a few tackles. I, he may, it's close to the first down, but they're Colton Schaefer on the tackle, quarterback on quarterback, and a holding against the Mustangs with 42 seconds. And <laughs> it's just every time there's a positive play, there's laundry on the field. That's kind of what it's been for Loretta tonight. 
And maybe that's why it's been a positive play is because they're yeah. they're cheating <laughs> on the play. 42 left in the game. It is a hot night. We're going to get it. All right, Ben, when is, when is it going to get back to fall weather? Uh, th this is when you've got the weather guy playing sports tonight, I guess, for me. Yeah. Uh, no, we've got a lot of tropical moisture in play, and that's that's made it very humid. Uh, we'll get a front that's going to cross us Sunday into Monday, and it'll, it'll feel like fall next week a little Good. bit more so, but we've got a few thunderstorms to get through. Well, thunderstorms aren't bad. We need a little rain every once in a while. There is a fall severe weather season. Mm-hmm. And a very active one we could have this year, too. Throw, that's going to be completed to Welch. Welch is going to get back near the original line of scrimmage. It was third and 26, so that will bring up fourth and 10. You know, to Loretta's credit, they've really done well moving the ball in the penalties yeah. that they've gotten. Yeah, they have, and that's going to be the game. The clock will run out. And Summertown will win this one. Loretta didn't give up. They were still trying all the way to the end, but that's kind of the night it's been. Just could move the ball, but Summertown's defense just would not break. And it's 19-0. Summertown's going to pitch the shutout, and they are going to win the Pegasus Cup. We'll stay here and see if we can Let's see if we can get Clint Brazier. He's down here. Get the, we'll get the camera on him and see. He's going to give the team the Pegasus Cup that we present. Look for Clint. He's right here, right in front of us. Yeah. He's in between the 40 and the 50, right in front of us. There he is. Yeah, so as soon as Summertown gets through the handshake line, he's going to give them the trophy back. Hey, real quick, we've got a, a couple of uh, uh, players to name. Uh, for the Southern Tennessee Realty Player of the Game. Sure. The, the finding Bigfoot, finding the player of the game. Uh, for Loretta, you know, my opinion, Colton Schaefer. That's for Summertown. Or I'm sorry, for Summertown. Absolutely. It's his birthday. He gets the win. He's Yeah, I agree. Colton Schaefer is definitely Summertown's player of the game. For Loretta, I'm going on the defense. I'm going to the Connor Pope. Absolutely. Connor had a big night tonight. He had, you know, there he was one of the uh, the few bright spots for the Mustangs tonight, and and he had a big game on defense. So I, I go with Connor Pope for the Mustangs. Player of the games brought to you by Southern Tennessee Realty, your United Country agent in Lawrenceburg. So they're going to have a post game prayer here real quick, and uh, I keep seeing the footballs roll across the field. And I, the fear is somebody's tackled Brazier, and that's the ball rolling. Yeah. So that that is a work. Of, if you've never seen the Pe the Pegasus Cup trophy, it is a true work of art. It is. It's it is very nice. It's uh it's made of wood, so it's in the shape of a football. But uh, I didn't know if he was uh, getting Bobby Boucher down there or not. I mean, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thought maybe. Maybe they'd had enough, and <laughs> what a night. High school football game at its finest. So, uh, awesome. By the way, I, uh, I, while we've got folks in, while they're, while they're doing their post-game prayer, uh, the director of the Exports Network, uh, A.J. Good, produces a piece each and every day. You can catch that in the evening. It's called Exports Tonight on the Exports YouTube and Facebook pages. Just go and look for it each evening. A.J. travels to all the schools across Lawrence County. He does Wayne County, uh, picking up maybe a couple in Lauderdale County. He visits Mount Pleasant as well, in addition to area colleges and universities. And that is your exclusive look inside local sports, all sports, from the schools, A.J. Good, he does local sports really good on the Exports Network. Did you just come up with that? <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to copyright that one. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm proud of that one. Yeah, I mean, that was on the fly, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you, you got to work on it. Yeah. Oh, man. You, got, you, you know, you got Ben Gooch out there uh, preaching to him right now, so it's, this might be a minute. We might, might yeah. as well just – we may have to – the, the good Reverend Gooch, of course, uh, the foundation of the FCA in the area, uh, Ben Gooch. I think, Lord, he's done it since I was in high school, and that's he's done it for a while. How so, old are you? You're not that – you're older than that. I'm 35. He's not much older than that. He's probably 38. He was He was involved. Oh, he might have been involved. Yeah. All right, here we go. I think we're – Yeah. We're ready for this to happen. 
to the 50 yard line. This is Trent Brazier on behalf of X Sports Network will be presenting the Pegasus Cup to this year's winner, your hometown Summertown Eagles. And Mr. Daniel, the PA announcer, making the presentation yeah, announcements that Clint Brazier is handing the ball over to the Summertown Eagles on their 19 to nothing victory over the Loretta Mustangs for the 2021 Pegasus Cup game. All right, so while they celebrate, we're gonna sign off the air and the student section is gonna come in and celebrate with them and get a few pictures made with the ball. And uh, that's the big, big game between these two. And uh, it's, you know, it's like the Stanley Cup may end up with a few dents in it, I don't know. <laughs> You never know. No. You no. never know. All right, so Ben, for Clint, for Sarah, that's the game, and I'm going home. That's See you. Good night. All right. Have a good night. Thanks for watching and listening to the X Sports Network. This is the X Sports Network. <laughs> <laughs>